Well guys, how are you all doing today? Today is a good day, let me show you why. See the good old ground here? Look at that, black, zero dust. And I got one more surprise, check it out. I brought the beast, the old CR500. Man, does that thing rip, I kid you guys not. If y'all have never tried a CR500, I highly suggest trying one because it's, it's insane. That's an easy way to put it. And this one's got a lot done to it. So yeah, let's uh, go have some fun. I got a couple big hills in store for you guys. And it runs like a typical Honda. Just crack past top dead center, and away you go. So I'll fill you guys in real quick. What's been going on this, this summer. So we've had a crazy amount of smoke, like, you know, I'm not complaining, I mean, it is what it is, but it's uh, two years in a row now we've had a lot of smoke, and finally, actually yesterday was the first smoke-free day. It was overcast and raining, which we needed as well. Good Lord, my eyes are vibrating when I stand up. <laughs> So yeah, it's finally, uh, the skies opened up last night. It's pure blue sky, if you can see that. Front end does not want to stay down on this bike. matter what gear either. God, does this thing rip? It's uh, it's ridiculous. There's a the word. It's ridiculous. And the best part about it is it runs like a Honda. I just you know, it's smooth, it's, well, it vibrates, but it's smooth running. I wish I could describe better for you guys how this bike went, because I know there's probably tons of people on my YouTube channel. Actually, I've got up over 12,000 subs now, so thanks for that, you guys. I haven't, I've been meaning to thank everybody. That's, I'm hoping to make this a huge YouTube channel one day, but I'll take what I can get for now. But, but anyways, like I was saying, probably tons of good pro riders that are as good or better than I am and they've never had the opportunity to ride a big two-stroke you know a CR500 it's just an absolute I don't know how to describe it it's I guess it's like a just a crazy amount of power with the slightest twist like it just wants to pull your arms right out of the sockets that's the, the honest honest way to put it so we're going to find a ginormous hill here and somewhere I can uh, let all the power out of this beast. Just got to get my bearings and figure out where I am here. And I'm going to attempt to get the coolest drone shot of a CR500 that's ever been taken. At least I've never seen a 500 filled with a drone. Okay, boys and girls, hold on to your hats. Okay, I've had enough time for bed. Talk about wear you out. So we're gonna try and send the drone up in the track mode, which means it follows you like a little dot on the camera up these couple real long hills I got. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a try.
climb up that big hill over there. I know to you guys on the old YouTube channel, she don't uh, look very steep, but believe you me, you couldn't walk up that one. Might have to twist the throttle on this one. Down here took half throttle. It's nice when you can just mosey up the side of a mountain. Woo -wee, nothing will get you in shape quicker than on to a CR500 up the side of a mountain in Canada. I lost my trail somehow. So here's another respectable little hill you guys. On normal bike you gotta, you know, you gotta work it pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's not real long but you could probably tell how steep it is. You'd have a difficult time walking up this one as well. But I'll show you what my CR500 thinks of it. Coast up the last half. Here's another funny little hill I'll give a try. It's actually, it's actually fairly steep. I guess not for a CR500. What are you guys' predictions? I haven't climbed this one in a while. Second gear? Third. Second. Yeah, there's not much to that on a CR500. Ouch! A little tight up here. Well, that's gonna about do it for me. I appreciate you guys watching all my stuff. Make sure you drop some comments below and let me know what you think of this big beast. And uh, if you're not subscribed, definitely hit the old subscribe button right there. Hit the like button. That way you'll know when I put new videos out, you get a little notification there. And check out my description below. It's got all my social media and you know, all that good stuff. Patreon's there too. If anyone wants to buy me a beer, feel free in as little as a dollar so it all helps it goes towards gas and bikes and things it takes to make a YouTube channel happen I'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching